A few days ago, we spoke with Chris Cole, a Goshen dad who saved for years to take his two sons to Hawaii. I don't make a lot of money. <clears throat> that was a lot of saving up. But the pandemic canceled their vacation, and 15 months later, he was still waiting for a refund from the travel site Kiwi.com. 4,800. But days after our report, Kiwi contacted us to apologize for a processing error and say they will quickly refund more than four grand to Chris. A few weeks earlier, I spoke with Liz Glover, opening a gourmet hot dog stand in Fairfield. Hey, welcome to Tiny Bistro. She was hoping to celebrate her big life change with a trip to Jamaica with her husband. But after five months, no passports and no vacation. They didn't deliver a passport, so we missed our vacation. Good news, two weeks after we contacted the passport office, Liz said the passport showed up and said, thank you so much for helping us. And it was a month ago when Eric Morton told me a malfunctioning ATM in the West End swallowed more than $1,000 of his cash. It was not in there. We contacted the bank and days later, Eric reported he had his money back. I wish we could assist everyone who contacts us. Unfortunately, we can't, but we at least try to put you in the direction of some agencies that can help. As always, don't waste your money. I'm John Matteries, WCPO 9 News.